I kind of want to give you my tips on how you can get rid of this 357 as soon as possible because it is really, really not useful for anything but Fox. You have the Rodeo Cola pretty much when you start the game and you can use this to lure in Rodeo, which is a target the 357 actually can kill as well. Now, remember, the bullets do not have a lot of penetration, so this is probably one of the only guns that I would ever advise you to not go for the neck or spine shots. Here you actually want to get a broadside shot on the road here on a close distance, else you are in a world of trouble for tracking. Let's see if we can get this one just a tiny bit closer before we end up taking a shot towards the animal. Hopefully should be around there. I hope we caught a lung. Now, they won't drop right on the spot usually, unless you catch the heart as well. We did get a vital hit on it, and let's just have some tracking here. I got the perk that shows how fast they're bleeding out, and you can see it up in the right hand corner. 50 to 75% life, 25 to 50, and over here. So, when you're leveling the 357, pretty much forget everything I've told you about neck and spine. You just have a really hard time to connect to the spine or a neck and i'm pretty much always going for the neck with the 357 but that is with the next level bullets if we go in here and quickly check the bullets the jacked hollow points are the starting ones the first one you get they have a penetration of 12 and an expansion of 18. if we look on the flat nose they have a penetration of 50 so you have a lot easier time getting all the way into the neck and spine area whenever you unlock the flat nose hardcast ones you're good to go for the spine and neck again but until then use your rodeo call and try to get as close as possible to the rodeos we're gonna find a few more if you have the jack rabbit caller as well you are fine to shoot fox with it too it is actually really good for foxes but there's just not a lot of them and when you're just starting out the game you do not have the caller yet and we have another tiny one right here once again, it's actually a decent chance to, ah, uh, moved. It was actually a decent chance to get a shot towards the lungs. Just let it get a bit closer. Have it stand somewhat still. And boom, should be good with another vital shot. Definitely a lot of blood. And it is going down pretty much as fast as the first one. But as you see here, it is possible. I know it's a pain and I know it's not fun to be hunting Rodeus, but until you at least unlock the hard-nosed bullets for this gun, you really want to go out and do this. When you have the other ones unlocked, you can start taking neck shots and you might actually be able to kill Fallow Deer with it as well while you're here on Hirsfeld and maybe even Blacktail. Let's find out. We have a white tail running around down here in front of us. I know it's not a black tail, but with the flat nose bullets, I'm pretty sure we should be able to get a proper shot at it. I just wanted to come in just a tiny bit closer. Should come in right now. Hopefully we will be able to get a shot to the neck. We could go for the lungs as well, but uh, like once again, it doesn't really do too much damage. Would you stop? That would be very, very nice of you. Probably the only place you shouldn't. Hopefully we got a we did Look at that the power of the neck and spine shots once you have the bigger or better Bullets unlocked just to the spine and they dropped on the spot I hope just showing you those few kills and giving you those few tips Go for the animals you have the callers for and go with the first ones actually go for the lungs I know they're not dropping on the spot, but it is the fastest way to unlock the next level bullets these ones, the flat nose hardcast bullet. And once you have that, you're back on track for the neck and spine. Thank you guys so much for watching and watch one of the other ones. And don't forget to subscribe.